Hello, my wonderful viewers. Welcome to Elite Dangerous. <laughs> I can't keep, can't keep that up. Oh my goodness. Uh, welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I, <laughs> I thought about it, and I think that it would be pretty cool if I started smuggling again. Um, so I've been working on uh, leveling up, uh, well, I guess, my reputation uh, with the... What is it? What are they called? The Blue Dragons, I believe, for the De Deciat system. The Deceit system. I don't. I don't know how to how to pronounce that. Um, but anyway, so I'm trying to level up with uh, that group, just earn their respect and stuff. And I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I am leveled up enough uh, with them. Yes, to do st some missions. So, doesn't look like. I, can, I have anything that I can do there. So we're going to go up to the main space station, I think, that I live at, at Gary Terminal, because we're just on the planet's surface right now. So I'm going to fly up there, get um, get a mission, hopefully, and we're going to smuggle some stuff. You guys are going to get to see what that's like if you haven't already. I freaking love Elite Dangerous. I'm going to need to do a lot of videos about this because just look at this place it's just absolutely gorgeous I um, had a rover but I do not any longer so uh, which I didn't want because I wanted more storage space so let's go ahead turn around take off here alright come on there we go okay so Gary terminal if I turn upside down it's right there whoa Whoops. <clears throat> Frick, I got caught on part of this. There we go. That did not work very well. Anyway, okay, so hopefully I didn't pick up any fines. Okay, good. So, yes, if I if I look down, uh, where is it? Down somewhere down there-ish. Yeah, right there. That is where I'm headed. So I've got to leave, I'm sorry about that, that was absolutely ridiculous. I've got to leave the, um, the gravity, the gravity well that this whole place is. It's a, it's a pretty high gravity planet, so I've just got to unlock the mass, there we go. And let's line up with the escape vector. Hopefully, uh, whoa, 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 my arrow keys got messed up. Okay, more power to the engine. And it's not charging very fast. I'm going to have to cool down my ship in a second. We're starting to overheat. I don't know why it's taking so long to charge. Alright, so we're cooling off. There we go. Okay, so I cool off and then it starts working. Alright, so this takes a little bit of time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, breaking gravity uh, takes a while. So I guess we're just going to just gonna wait until we're uh, at about orbital height. And then we are going to make our turn to get to the space station. Okay, we are about there. I'm going to start rotating uh, the ship just so that I can get it lined up. And now I'm going to turn this way. I want to stay in orbit for now. So let's turn back into orbit. I think I can go faster in orbit, but I'm not sure. So we're going to find out. Yeah, we can go pretty dang fast in orbit, so that's why I'm doing that. Like, really, really fast. Alright, now I'm breaking out of orbit to head straight to Gary Terminal. And they usually have the most uh, lucrative missions. Uh, I, I absolutely love this terminal. It is wonderful. It has a black market. It has pretty much all of the ships I'll need to ever buy. And it also has um, a lot of good, well-paying black market missions. And now that I'm far enough away from the planet, I should be able... Yep, I'm accelerating now. Oh my goodness. It was, it was annoying being like one minute to destination. I don't have that kind of time. You crazy? I gotta make it like five seconds. Oh, oh no, I can just keep accelerating. Right. And save disengage. And here we are. Now, normally, if I'm a normal, uh, not a smuggler, a normal trader, I can actually get an auto-docking module, so it just lands my ship for me. I'm going to request permission really quick. Okay. 
So anyway, I can do an auto docking module, but since I'm a smuggler, uh, that takes way too long and they'll scan me before I get landed. So I want to just get really good at landing without that, which is probably for the best anyway. Okay, hopefully I don't smack into anything. Okay, perfect. Now let's try landing without s destroying the entire ship. I actually blew up this ship one of the last times I flew it. I was showing my cousin um, <laughs> this game, and I was going to make a really quick maneuver where I pulled really close to a planet, pulled up and boosted away so I didn't slam into it. Well, let's just say I slammed into it and blew up, so that wasn't any fun. But I had enough to replace my ship, so that was okay. Uh, let's enter the hangar and check the starport services. Um, yeah, this is basically my home. I've bookmarked it in the galaxy map so that I can always find it. Now we're going to the mission board and seeing, just checking to see if there are any black market sort of, well, I guess it's not black market, uh, criminal smuggling missions. Um, smuggling's all I'm really good at. Uh, I'm basically Han Solo. He's not... Uh, well, he's good at other things, I guess. Alright, so we've got delivery of survival... Oh, no, 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 this isn't... That's not the illegal stuff. There we go. Smuggle 24 units. Yes, please. Look at all that money. Accept. That's good. Um, and then, just for the fun of it. Alright. Sounds like a good plan. Now, it has to say smuggle or else... Um, and it has to have that symbol because this is just delivering stuff. Although, that is that is a lot of money, too. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to be doing two missions, that's going to be great, and then I'm going to come back to this system. I'm not sure if I'm going to record for that, but uh, this should be interesting, so you guys get to see some real smuggling. So, I'm going to go into my transactions. Let's do this one first. No, 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 this one first. Let's get rid of the illegal stuff before anything else. So, di did you wall system, apparently? So, yes, here we go. Now, let's go into the system map. This is what you have to do before you go anywhere, just to make things a lot faster. What it will do is let you select the actual station that you're landing on, so you don't have to figure it out before you, uh, you know. Like, once you get to the system, it's really time-consuming to go into the systems. You can just kind of scoot right on over there. Now, I'm carrying illegal cargo, so I'm going to go into silent running. Silent so, running. it blocks all my vents so that nobody can scan me. So I'm going to fly out as quick as I can so that I carry... I get no fines. Generally, they will only fine you uh, a little bit. It's based on how much you're carrying. That way, if you're carrying a huge operation full of illegal goods... Oh, that was close. Okay. If you're carrying a huge load of goods, you will get fined a lot. And if you're just carrying, like, I don't know, a tiny bit of illegal drugs, you only get fined a little, which is just fine. Alright, and now, as soon as it gets to 100, I'm gonna... There we go. I am unlocked. Hopefully they don't, they don't scan me. Now we can jump. I do want my shields to go back up. I think that they charge pretty quick while I'm in uh, Super Cruise, but right now they're just... Oh no, they charge just exactly as fast. Okay. Just checking. Um... I'm really, really keeping an eye on my system power level because I don't want to run out of power before my shields are back up, which is, it's dangerous. Alright, hopefully this first place is the place I needed to go. Yes, it is. Nice. Alright, now the thing is, is that I'm a lot more likely to get uh, interdicted because not only are regular guys trying to kill me, uh, pirates and such, the actual authorities are trying to kill me as well. Alright, there we go. So I've got basic shields up. And I'm going to just apply all power to systems. Until my shields are all the way up. Just in preparation for getting interdicted because that's happened so many times. I can't stand. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so shields are just about up. Let's go back. Power to engines. Because there's two things that I do. It's two. I keep going off the screen because I'm used to the rectangle. But uh, two things I normally do. First one is I have my shields up. Second thing I do is I run. And so uh, I never fight. I actually don't have any weapons on this ship. I've tried killing uh, guys and taking bounties. It's not very easy. 
it is really, really hard to do in this game, which I love. It, it keeps people from really trying to kill you all the time, which is great. The AI are pretty stupid, but you can run away pretty, pretty easily in this ship. You just got to upgrade the thrusters and the, um, what is it, the power distributor and the reactor. And that's all you have to up upgrade. And then I upgraded my shields so that I can uh, make a faster getaway in case they're trying to uh, slow me down. But yeah, so this ship is really, really decked out um, for making it away. Let's let's look at this thing right here. There we go. Uh, functions. So, do, 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 do. I'm in cruise mode. Cool. Hmm, that's awesome. I wish that you could change the, um, not the interface brightness. Well, that's cool. That's awesome. Anyway. Um, I wish that you could change the color of all these menus, because that would be nice. That'd be very nice. All right, so narcotics is illegal. That's good to know. Um, so everything's going very, very well. These are all the systems I have on my ship. A lot of them are upgraded. I don't believe that my life support is upgraded. Interesting. Okay. So let's just uh, keep on getting there. I'm going to get a bit closer, and then I'll be back when I'm almost within uh, exiting the distance. Or if I get interdicted, that could be that could be pretty cool, right? <laughs> okay, we are making our final approach here. I'm going to try to keep the throttle at... T uh, well, the ETA at 10 seconds by lowering the throttle. Um, we have only one person about on our radar... And he is really far away, so, so we shouldn't get interdict interdicted. Can't even talk right now. But we are slowing down. We were going all about 150 times the speed of light, and now we're slowing down to less than 20. Uh, this is going very well. This is one of those places that's pretty far away, but the payoff is just phenomenal. Getting 200,000 credits, that's way more than I've ever got doing legal activity so smuggling narcotics is really fun it's uh it's definitely high pressure especially with this huge place uh it's it's pretty intense so i'm going to definitely do silent running and make a quick run in there really as fast as i can without s smashing into anything because i'd rather ra rather not smash into anybody or uh, the space station itself. It is way worse, though, to run into somebody because it's instantly a fine. If you smash into the space station and your shields are up, you're, you're totally good because you'll, um, your shields will generally cover the damage. But if you're in silent running, I guess, you can cause a lot easier damage. Whoops, I accidentally clicked my right mouse button, and that deploys... Oh, man, there was another ship here right near me. I guess he was following me, but he wasn't following me, if that makes any sense. He was just trying to get to the uh, space station just like me. Or he missed me when he was trying to interdict me. One of the two. Considering it's AI since I'm playing privately, uh, it's probably that he's just trying to get to the space station because the AI don't usually miss. Very frustrating, by the way. They are so overpowered, the AI. It's insane. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's a little frustrating when you first start out. And the, the AI will just see your little ship and be like, well, I'm going to eat you for dinner. And you're like, well, okay, I guess I don't get a say. All right, so we're heading in. And we're about to safe disengage and just pray. I had my finger on the, uh, what is it, the silent running mode button instead of the disengage button. All right, contacts, request docking. All right, all right. Silent running mode activated. Let's do this. All right, all right. So if we can get in here, we'll be just fine. Oh man, I'm scared, you guys. I am seriously scared. The noises are starting up. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't want to use my heat sink if I don't have to yet. I'm about to use the heat sink. Landing on 22. Alright, using the heat sink. Landing gear are retracted. We're coming in for our landing. Come on, we've got to hurry. Ooh, not that fast. Yes! Enter hangar. 
Silent running, disengage, shields up, and we are so good. All right, so we got a little bit of damage. Restock, refuel. Oh my goodness, that went so good. And that is how you smuggle, ladies and gentlemen. So if I can just get these narcotics off my ship, that would be wonderful because that is stressful as heck. I always enter the hangar because I'm afraid of like getting scanned while I'm on the uh, landing pad. I don't know if that's even possible, but... All right, cool. So I got 200,000 credits. That that was seriously a huge addition to how much I have. Let's go down here and see... Uh... Oh, no, that's just... No. That won't give us anything. Let's check out the shipyard, just see if there's anything cool to buy. Uh, there's... Oh, the keelback. Oh, this is the one that I have. And that's the one I want. Or that's the one I had, sorry. And then I bought this one because I couldn't find the keel back again. That's really nice. Um, the Asp Scout I can afford, but the Asp, Asp Explorer is what I want. That's my next ship. And then my very next ship is going to be the Type 7. And then the Anaconda. So it actually has most of the ships that I want here. Uh, where am I? Did did you all at Bounds Gateway? I'm gonna check out the system really quick because I I don't think that this will be home, but it could. It's a nice place, so it's something definitely to remember. Um, let's check out the system map and then I'll bookmark it probably. Let's see. Oh, it's a nice little system. It's got plenty of uh, planets and stuff. Although you know what, I'm not gonna bookmark it because of how far away this place was. We'll find another place. All right, so let's launch. Let's go to this open galaxy map while we're uh, getting out of there. We'll go into the system map, um, hopefully before we launch. That would be preferred. All right, so this place is way out there, but whatever gives us credits, am I right? Okay, so I'm going to take off, retract landing gear. Now, I don't need to go into silent running because I'm not carrying anything illegal, which is fine. Oh, snap, I'm speeding. I don't even know how fast speeding is. I'm guessing it's under 100. Okay, here we go. There we go. I almost smacked into everything there. Boom. See you later. Whoa! Dude, he almost ran right into me. Did you guys see that? Dang. The AI had a death wish right there. Alright, so now we're passing by this huge space station ring. It's basically Halo. Uh, not quite that big, but... Oh, man. That'd be awesome if this um, if there were structures that were that big. Oh, man. I'm a huge fan of the Halo games, though, so I'm, I'm kind of a suck-up when it comes to that, for sure. Alright, this is also really awesome, is just watching this jump. I mean, I've gotten used to it and kind of desensitized, but just look at this. Oh, man, it's just beautiful. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is also, if I didn't mention it last time, uh, this is a loading screen, actually, right here. And I only, I only know this because it uh, loads the next place, and um, if you have bad internet, it actually takes a lot longer. So that was kind of funny. I didn't actually know that until fairly recently, because my internet was bad, and it took, like, almost a minute to get out of the, uh, the jump when it was actually a jump that I had made many, many times. I, so I was pretty used to how long jumps take. And so I was like, because, you know, if it was a really, really long jump, I would have probably assumed that, oh, yeah, it was just far away. But no, this one was a jump that I had made several times and had never done that. So, And that is how I use the scientific method of, well, a very loose definition of the scientific method to uh, solve what the heck that uh, jumping was. Okay, so this Fullerton ring is really close. So that's very, very convenient. By the way, do I... So this is my ship. That's cool that it has a description of my ship in here. I don't think I've ever read that. Um, you can find, you can read that though in the um, the purchase area. So there's 23 hours to complete that mission. I really like that it's in real time, so you can play a game and then you take a break. You're like, I've got three hours until this thing um, is due at the, <laughs> at the uh, space station. So in real life, you're like, I think I can eat a meal real quick, and then you come back. I've actually expired missions doing that, though, so you have to be really careful. Maybe set a timer on your phone or something. It sounds so ridiculous, by the way, um, to have to set some sort of timer for a video game, but this is really important, especially to me, uh, 
when I'm really, really trying to save up for nice ships. And um, this is the leveling up system in this game is just phenomenal. I don't see myself ever stopping playing this game. And I mean, not just not just you know playing every once in a while just for like nostalgia, but I mean going at it for a few hours a day. Like that is, I love this game. It is insanely addictive. It is definitely not for everyone uh, because it takes a long time, but I think smuggling is probably the most fun thing that you can do in the game, at least right now, other than, um, you know, maybe combat if you're really good at it. I'm not particularly good at uh, space combat. I'm good at um, avoiding and doing stunts and stuff like that, but I'm definitely not good at avoiding fire while trying to shoot somebody. I, I just, if I shoot somebody, I just boost my shields. <laughs> That's basically what I do. Um, I actually did fight somebody a couple times, and I collected a few bounties, but um, smuggling is so much more profitable that I really didn't care that much to um, to really just follow the law and collect bounties. So I just decided to keep smuggling because I can make a lot more money a lot faster. All right, here we go. I really want to find some... Uh, some trade opportunities, well, I guess smuggling opportunities, that are, like, really long distance, but really, really lucrative. Like, I've made over a half million credits in one run before, and I don't know if that's really good, but it's really good considering that doing legal activity gets you, like, 10,000 um, at low levels, so... So there's that, and this game, it really lets you um, focus on finding a home, because if you um, stay at that one, at your station... Why safe disengage? I'm not at the ring, though. Oh, I was kilometers away. I thought it was MM. I don't. I still don't know what that means. I should probably look it up. Okay, here we go. Whoops. Uh, contacts. Fullerton ring. Oh, crap. I've been denied. I need to wait until they have an open landing pad. I'm going into silent running just in case there's any ships that do not like me out here. Let's ask for docking again. Come on, you guys. Docking request denied. Docking request denied. Okay, you know what? I'm going to boost up my shields. We're just going to risk it and I'm going to fly close and just see what the heck is going on. Maybe I'll even be close to a landing pad when it opens up. Docking request denied. Okay, come on, you guys. What is even going on? I really want there to be a landing pad here. I can't just wait here forever. Docking request granted. Ooh, yay! Okay, where? Uh, let's, I think it's on the other side, so let's go over there. Oh, there it is. There's number five. I'm pretty sure, because it looks like it's the only landing pad. The problem is, I've found, is that I need a, I need a uh, medium-sized landing pad. That's the real issue here. Oh, I hit silent running. Whoops. There we go. I hit silent running instead of landing gear, so I apologize for that. Landing gear deployed. What did I hit? What did I do? Oh, I switched that around. I keep hitting all the buttons on my mouse instead of actually landing my ship. Okay, here we go. There we go. Enter hangar, starport services. Wow. Um, I'm not going to fly all the way back home in this video. However, I am going to complete this mission and collect my well-hard-earned credits and uh, leave you guys with that. So, uh, as soon as, you know, the stupid board opens up. I do like how nice it looks, but I'm kind of getting frustrated every once in a while about how long it takes. Oh, man, do you see that half million credits one? Look at this, look at this. Look at that. If I had the reputation that I needed... I could earn a half million in just one run. How far is this run? 14 light years. That's not even bad. That's where I just came from. Oh, man. Dang, I kind of wish that I... 
Oh, wow. Okay, anyway. So, I will um, pick up sort of where I left off. I'll probably just do a couple more smuggling missions, and maybe I'll buy another ship. I don't know. I might try doing some combat just to show you guys um, my lack of skill in that area, but I definitely do enjoy that. I, I enjoy mining but I enjoy smuggling the most. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please do leave a like, and I will see all of you guys in the next one. Goodbye! Drops.